In today's video, I will teach you how to build a beautiful xylophone app in Flutter. So make sure to follow the video till the end. To get started with this video, you need to get the start code. The link is in the description. Make sure to copy this URL. Also notice that we have two branches here and you want to clone the start code branch. First, open an explorer window. Inside the others bar, type cmd and hit enter. This will open up a common prompt. Here type git clone and since we want to clone the star code branch, we need to specify the name of the branch. Let's also make sure that we get the spelling right and then paste the URL that you just copied and hit enter. So the project is cloned successfully. Now I'm gonna drag it inside the VS code. Inside the assets, we have our soundtracks. These are the sounds we play when we click on xylophone keys. We also need to get the de dependencies. For that, open up a terminal and type flutter pop git and then hit enter. Now all the errors are gone. Inside the material app, pass home screen to the home property. Let's define home screen as a separate file. This is gonna be a stateful widget. And inside the main.dart, we need to import home screen. Next, we need to create a model for our xylophone buttons. So let's create a new file called button model. Each button has two properties, an audio name and also a color. Let's also add them to the constructor. Then I'm gonna define list of all our buttons. As you see here, we have seven notes and inside each button, I have put one of the notes as the audio name. So let's save and close. Now let's work on the UI. For that, I run the project and bring my emulator to the site. So the app is running successfully. Inside the build method, first return a scaffold. And inside the body property, return a center and then a container with a height of 200 and width of double dot infinity. It has a color of pink. So if you save the app now, we can see our button. Let's also make it clickable. For that, wrap it with an ink wheel and define on tap. This is where we put our play audio functionality. But to be able to play audio, we need to use audio player package. This package enables us to play audio from our assets or network. So let's create an instance of our audio player at the top and import audio players package. Also make sure that you have added audio players as your dependency inside pubspec.yaml and set the path for your assets. Back to our home screen. Inside the init method, method, initialize our audio player and dispose it inside the dispose method. Now go back to our button. Here we need to play our audio using the play method. You need to provide an asset source here that is name of our node. Since we have our audio files inside our assets, you need to provide an asset source here that is name of our node since we have our audio files inside our assets. So here we need to type name of our source that is node1.wav. Now we should be able to play our audio or maybe we need a hard restart. So let's try it again. and it worked perfectly. Now that we can play our audio, let's define more buttons here. Right now we are using a center widget, so we can have more than one child. Let's replace our center widget with a column and put our button inside the children. Let's also define our second button. So for that, I'm gonna copy my button from here. This button is gonna play node two and has a color of lime. So if you save the project, we can see our two buttons and each of them play a different sound. But using this approach, we have to duplicate a lot of code and this is not efficient. So for example, if we want to define seven buttons, we have to duplicate this code seven times and that is exactly not what we want. So, a solution is to create a separate widget for our button and use it in multiple places in our code. So let's create a separate widget and call it 
xylophone button. This is gonna be a stateful widget and inside it paste the code for our button. Each button takes two properties that are color and also on praise callback. Let's also add them to the constructor. And inside the onTap property, let's add our onPraise and also pass our color to the container. And lastly, let's wrap our inkwell with an expanded widget. This is to make sure that each button takes as much space as it can. Now save the file and go inside home screen. So here we need to clean all the code and use our xylophone button instead. Now let's repeat this widget five times and save the app. It's also better to give them different colors to be distinguished from each other. And as you can see, we have our buttons and the code is very clean, but there is still a problem. We need to add logic for playing audio for every single button separately, but there is a better way to do this. If we go to the button model, we see that we have a list of buttons, each with a scholar and also note name. So here, instead of defining seven buttons for our seven notes, we can just map our list and create a button for each item in the list. So let's delete all our buttons here. We also need to define our list of buttons and we set it equal to all buttons list we saw earlier. Here we need to map our button list. This is gonna perform a function on every single button on our list. So for each button, we're gonna return a xylophone button using the R syntax. And lastly, turn everything into a list since column widget requires us a list of widgets as children. The color is going to be button.color since you know each button is of type button model and contain a color property. And for the on press, we pass the play function just like before. Uh, but this time we pass our button name as our asset. Let's also not forget to add a dot .wav suffix to our asset and hit save. So if now click on any button, it's gonna play a sound. Let's give it a test. So with this our xylophone tutorial is complete. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to code HQ again. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to code HQ. As always if you have any question make sure to ask them in the comment section. See you in the next one.